go to the seventh chapter of Shmona Prakim by the Rambam. And the Rambam says, there's many Midrashim and Agadot that describe the connection that the prophets, all the prophets throughout time, had with Hashem. Some of them spoke to Hashem through sleeping, a dream, some had an epilepsy, some had meditation. But there is one prophet named Moshe Rabbeinu, where Hashem, is, Hashem himself says, he spoke to me face to face. And in Midrashim and Agadot, and also including the Gemara, Masech Yevamot, page 49b, says that the way that the prophet spoke to Hashem was like through a veil. They had different veils, different levels of separations between them and Hashem. But they were able to uncover some of these veils. So like, so like you know, so if you have one of these fancy houses with 18 curtains before you actually see the window, the prophet was able to take away like six of them and see a little bit more light, or ten of them. But Moshe Rabbeinu is a different level of prophet. Moshe Rabbeinu was talking to Hashem like you would look through a brilliant glass. Meaning that it was shining like a diamond, but you still, it's not 100% baru, it's not 100% clear, but it's as clear as ever. How did Moshe Rabbeinu get to that level? How did Yaakov Avinu get to that level? Very simple, the Rambam says. We all have intellectual shortcomings. Foolishness, naivety, difficulty in understanding. We all have ethical shortcomings. Gluttony, pride, anger, brashness, love of money, all types of desires. We all have all types of flaws, all types of limitations. I have one student, he says, I pray to Hashem four hours a day to make me rich. I'm okay, do you have a job? No, not yet. I don't know if it's high level emuna or something else. I have another student who tells me, you know, Shlom Bayit is very, very important to me. Yeah, Baruch Hashem. Yeah, yeah, I prayed extra on Rosh Hashanah. I wore all white. I wore all white. Baruch Hashem. You learn any Musar? No, 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 not yet. I'm still focusing on something else. Oh, is that why your wife keeps calling my wife? Telling her that you're coming home like a uh, raging uh, lion? Every Friday you, she's, she's worried about her life? So Rambam says, listen, all of us have these little flaws. Some of us love money too much. Some of us get too angry. Some of us have gava that can reach the sky. All of us. Each one of these shortcomings are the veils. That's the curtain. That's what's separating us between us and God. Each one of these character flaws, you're cheap, you're stingy, you're, over, you're, you're, you're uh, you know, a fool and uh, you don't want to learn Torah, you're too prideful, you're one of these people that every time somebody wants to give you a chidush, before you finish the first sentence, you always say, no, no, I know, I know. I love those people. I know, I know. They know everything. So why'd you come to the shiur if you already know? I know, I know, I know. Rabbah says all of these character flaws, that's the curtain, that's the veils. That's what separates us between man and God. As it says in the prophet Isaiah, chapter 59, verse 2, it's your sins that separate you between you and your God. Your sins. Meaning your shortcomings. So here, the Rambam, who is also called Moses, gives us the secret of Moses. Gives us the secret of Yaakov Avinu. Gives us the secret to never be one of these people, the Rabban Yehuda or Natan, 
In Korbanot says Chayav Mita. They give us the secret. You want to be a walking Kiddush Hashem? You want to be a tzaddik? You want to be worthwhile in this world? Start by removing these veils. Start by working on your midot. Start by removing these bad character traits. And you can only remove them if you work on them. First, if you have anger problems, start working on anger. But not through a self-help book that you buy from Barnes and Noble. By Gemara, by Musar, by instructions from the manufacturer. Because each time you remove one of these veils, you're going to be closer to God. And each time you're closer to God, you're going to understand how Yaakov Avinu was able not to say Lashon Hara for 20 years. How Yaakov Avinu was able to thank Hashem, have such level of emunah where he thanked Hashem for all the problems. To such an extent, he says, Katonti, all these problems are so great, it's too good. And it all starts with making a very simple choice. If you already believe in the Torah, which Baruch Hashem, most, all of us here believe, you believe in the Torah, you believe it's real, the first step we have to do is read what it says. Second step is start doing. Start doing what it says. Where do you aim? You don't have to be Abraham Avinu. You don't have to be Tzach Avinu. You don't have to be Moshe Rabbeinu or Yaakov or anyone else. You don't have to be Rabbi Yudah. All you have to do is honestly look at yourself in the mirror every day and say, you know what, today I served the Shem at least as good as Yaakov served Lavana Rasha.